Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Mom and I are in Orlando for a mother-daughter trip. We are without the boys, which this is the first time we've been just the two of us since before I became a mom, so that's kind of crazy. But we decided to get away for the weekend and do some of the fun things in Orlando that my boys would not consider fun. So I'm doing a whole thrifting near Disney World vlog, which will be separate from this, so make sure to stick around for that. It will be coming next. But we just checked into our hotel. We are at the Wyndham Grand Bonnet Creek. Bonnet Creek. Yeah, I feel like it's a longer name than that. Um, but it's a beautiful resort. This is my first time staying here. I have been here before years and years and years ago for a little blogging event, and I didn't even realize until I walked in. I also woke up with this very lovely uh, raspy voice. Um, but don't worry, I'm not positive for that thing that's been going around since 2019, so we don't have to worry about that. But I thought I would give you guys a little room tour. We are getting ready to head out actually to go to Epcot because one of the things I wanted to do while we were up here is see the fireworks shows. I have not seen any of the new fireworks shows because my boys are always ready for bed by that time. So we're gonna take advantage of our kid free weekend and do that. So before we head out, let me share the room with you. We are staying on the fifth floor and five is my favorite number, so that works out. So when you walk in, they have this full length mirror so you can check out your OOTD before you head out and there's a bump. I am 28 weeks pregnant so we are officially in the third trimester which makes it even harder to breathe for me. <laughs> Over here we have this little area for coffee, a uh, little mini fridge in here as well. They do provide water complimentary with your stay and then of course we always bring lots of snacks so we already have unpacked all of our snacks and drinks Lots of room over here if you want to put suitcases, have a little dresser, and then I, think, I believe it's two queen beds. So we have two queen beds here, a nightstand in between, and then over here we have a little table area with some chairs, and check out this view. It is so pretty. We have a pool view, and then in the distance you guys can kind of see the little peak of this one in Dolphin. And then in front of the Swan and Dolphin, you can see the Skyliner. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty sure that Epcot is over here behind these buildings. But this is a beautiful resort, very large. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell over here, but there's like a little kiddie pool area um, with a big pirate ship and a slide. Sebastian would love that. So definitely family friendly. I know that they also do allow animals. They allow pets. Um, I think you just have to pay an extra fee. But I lo I'm loving this hotel so far. So far, so good. So if you're wanting to stay off property, I think this is a, another good hotel to look into. I just realized I didn't show you guys the bathroom. So over here where we saw the big full length mirror is this little cutout. <laughs> There she is, the beauty herself. <laughs> nice lit mirror. And that's just a vanity area. Mom's getting beautiful for her it's, night at It's a struggle. It's just a struggle. <laughs> and then just, you know, your normal shower. They do provide shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. So a little bathtub. The potty, which, you know, not super exciting. Some little... <laughs> Some little art. I'm not really sure what that is. And then where's the little hook? On the bottom there's a tall hook. And oh, right here mom pointed this out. There's like a, a hook for your little ones to put their towels. And then a bigger hook. Which, I mean, I guess it just makes sense to have two hooks, but that's cute. If you have little ones with you, they can do it themselves. So that is officially the room. They do offer balconies and all that stuff, but... You know, we're in a standard, a standard room, but I think the view is pretty great. We have arrived at Epcot. I'm using my Canon G7X this trip, so I don't have my uh, microphone, so hopefully the audio is decent. You'll, go, you'll have to let me know. Here we are, we have arrived. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Simple Plan. We are Simple Plan from Montreal, Canada. Thanks for being here for all you guys watching all the shows. Let's kick it off with a classic. I think you might know this one. We 
just got done watching Simple Plan. Did not know they were gonna be here, so that was a nice surprise. I used to love them back in middle school, high school. She's still jamming. Um, and it was the perfect timing because I was ready to sit down because my seven month pregnant lady feet. Yeah, the pregnant lady was rocking out to her high school band. <laughs> I'm getting old. 30 is coming up. We just got our spot for the new fireworks show, Harmonious. We are in between Italy and Germany, right next to Snow White and Dopey. Should, I think, be mostly on the water, so I think this is a good view, but we don't really have anything blocking the sky either, so I think it's gonna be good. Voices calling out in search of one another. We find each other in song. now almost 11 o'clock at night we stopped at the speedway on our way back to the room got some drinks it is national donut day at the time of filming this so i got some donuts and uh, i couldn't decide which one i wanted so mom talked me into getting both <laughs> so got two donuts some vitamin water if you're familiar with disney property our hotel is right next to the riviera resort um so to put it into perspective, I think if you want to stay off property because of the price, but you want to stay on property because of the Disney feel, I think this is a good resort because you're really right in the thick of things. So now that we're back and I've seen the new Epcot Harmonious show, I have to say, I think the spot that we watched it in was pretty good because we really could see everything. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen the show before, but pretty sure we got to see everything. Um, but I have to say, I was not impressed with the show. It was over 20 minutes and it felt like it was never going to end. Every clip that they show with the song was like the same scene. It felt like the same movements, the same fireworks, the same water thing. So I don't know. I wasn't impressed. I didn't really love Illuminations either, so... I'm hoping that Magic Kingdom will have a good fireworks show tomorrow. We shall see. I remember when they changed the fireworks show at Magic Kingdom from Wishes to Happily Ever After. I was not happy. And then I loved Happily Ever After once they retired it. So hopefully this new one is good. I think mom feels the same. Yeah, it was awful. Wasn't a huge fan. I think if you had little kids like I do and you wanted to go home and you waited for it, you probably would have been bummed. You probably would have wished you would have just gone home. So there's that, but I am glad that we had the opportunity to see this show because I did really want to see it. So now we're going to eat our donuts and go to bed, and hopefully tomorrow I wake up with a normal sounding voice. Um, we still have two more days of fun left. Day two of our mother-daughter weekend. We are out of the hotel room. It is about 10.45 in the morning, and we are at our first stop of the day, which is Hope Thrift. It was about 10-ish minutes from our hotel, so not too bad. So we're gonna go in here and see if we can find some fun goodies. Again, I'm doing a Thrift With Me Near Disney vlog, so that will be separate. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. So mom and I have shopped until we dropped. <laughs> we did lots of shopping today. I dropped. She, she could have kept going. <laughs> I'm tired. So we did a lot of shopping, and then we went back to the hotel, took a little rest, had some food. Mom made uh, chicken salad. Chicken salad. So she made me a chicken salad sandwich for dinner. And we are now at Magic Kingdom to see the fireworks show this evening. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Um, well, right now we are headed to get one of my new favorite treats at Magic Kingdom: the Snow White ice cream cone at Storybook Treats. I had it last time I was here. So good. My top is citrus swirl, and I've had a craving for it since the last time I had it, so definitely getting it. Looking for booze. Well, we're at Magic Kingdom, so that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> sure. Fight us. <laughs> we might have to make another gas station stop tonight. So, so we should have splurged and just done the firework dessert party this evening. No kids, you know? Treat yourself. We had our yummy ice cream and now we are in front of the castle getting ready for the Beacon of Magic show and then right after is the fireworks. I am so excited. There's lots of people here this evening. It's been pretty rainy today but the weather is holding out really nicely and this nice breeze. Perfect. Tonight, as we gather together under the spires of this majestic castle, our dreams ignite the magic to create. 
Day of Thinking, Shining Out, and Celebrating 50 Years of the Most Magical Place on Earth. now just past 11 30 we've been party animals it feels like this weekend being out late um we are back from magic kingdom and i have to say that the fireworks show was much better than the one at epcot it definitely had very similar vibes to happily ever after with the projection show and the castle and the fireworks so i definitely recommend watching it in front of the castle or somewhere where you can see the castle pretty straight on so you can get the full effect but I thought the music was really good I felt myself you know moving to the beat um, we got to see Tinkerbell fly so I definitely really liked it I would probably say I like happily ever after a little bit better because I just like I don't know the message a little bit more but I thought it was really good definitely better than the one at Epcot the one at Epcot I'm not a fan but this one was good and we did stand there for I don't know what an hour, over an hour yeah we got there what like 20 to nine yeah 20 to nine we got there 20 that doesn't make sense yeah because it didn't start till 9 20. i thought we got there around eight well, i don't think we got there that early might have been a little after doesn't eight. matter we went and got our ice cream and then we moseyed our way over and got a spot we waited for quite a while the beacon show was like one minute and they just lit up the castle and that was it i thought it was gonna be more i was really excited it was nothing and then we sat there and waited for 20 minutes for the fireworks show but definitely recommend checking it out if you're able to i really enjoyed it what you think i liked it but i think that you need to be further away from the castle so that you can see the fireworks better like close enough where you can see the castle but you can't see the fireworks when you're super close in my opinion mm -hmm. can't get the full effect so there's that Mm -hmm. Take it as you will. I also was getting a little uh, claustrophobic because there was a lot of people by us So I would probably stand a little bit more off to the side because we were kind of like right in the middle of things And I was a little intense, but there was a girl sitting on her dad's shoulder and she was just having the time of her life She was like rocking out doing the air guitar. She was really fun to watch, but definitely recommend checking it out Especially over the one at Epcot It is now the next day. I am makeup free. My hair is not done because we are headed to the spa this morning. I'm super excited. I'm gonna get a prenatal massage. Mom is getting a signature massage. We're gonna enjoy the spa and then probably head down to the pool for a little bit and just relax. It's our last day here. We are headed home tonight. We're gonna get a little bit of relaxation in after all of our shopping and walking around that we've done the past two days. I can't wait. Checked into the spa. Gonna enjoy our nice massages. All done and feeling good. I liked the little thing I could put my belly in. I need that at home. Yeah, that little thing for my <laughs> belly on the table. It's amazing. The foot rub. I need something so for my boobs. I, it had that too. Yeah, I, well, I didn't have that. Had that. Not my belly it was amazing. It felt so good. I need a pillow for my boobs. Oh, I need that for at home for sure. So we're just relaxing. I think we might go hang out by the pool. Just taking it easy. We decided to head to the pool to get some sun, and I'm hungry, so I got a buffalo chicken wrap from the pool bar. I also got a Shirley Temple with ginger ale instead of Sprite. And look at this view. It's the perfect day. So we enjoyed our day at the spa. We hung out by the pool for a little bit, went back to the spa, took showers, and now we are headed to Disney Springs to do a little shopping, a little wandering. See what we can get into. 
the weather has been great even though it's um what is it a tropical storm this weekend yeah it's basically been where we live not Just where we're vacationing so it's been rainy at home, but it's been great here because it's been nice and overcast and breezy and not too hot. So my pregnant lady feet are very happy because they're not super swollen from the, the heat. Old lady with hot flush. <laughs> We're in um, D style, checking out their stuff. That's a fun shirt. Sixty bucks, not one hundred and twenty-five like the orange bird shirt that I like. I love this store. It's one of my favorites. At Disney Springs. We successfully did a little bit of damage. Well, I guess I did a little bit of damage. Um, I ended up getting a Little Mermaid Vera Bradley bag, which I actually saw thrifting, but ended up getting it here at Disney Springs. Um, so we're all packed up. We're getting ready to hit the road. Did you have a good mother-daughter weekend? <laughs> She's over here washing her hands with the... I can't stand it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> We're gonna stop and get maybe a slushy or something on our way home, because it is hot today. If you're wondering how hot um, this hot, <laughs> this is the first time I'm looking at myself. I did not put uh, any makeup on up this fall because, you know, <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered. I, I could. Yikes. <laughs> so, we are headed home. Cannot wait to see my boys. I miss them so much. Like I said earlier, uh, we did do a... Oh, my bad. Forgot she wanted snacks. I need my crackers. I did do a thrifting video that will be coming next, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Bye.